An Australian fiddle tune, folks, and I wrote it when I was rotten drunk. I was, uh, I was sucking on my third Darwin Stubby. Hands up, the people know what a Darwin Stubby is. And you know how pissed I was. Anyway, I was sitting on the caravan step, sucking on this Darwin Stubby, and I looked across the road and I saw this five-stranded boundary fence, five wires, every so often a fence post. And all of a sudden, some kangaroos bounced across it and stopped in mid-air in various places on the lines and spaces. The tails turned upwards. They started to look like crotchets and quavers on the music paper fence. The five lines and the fence post bars every four beats or so. What were the lines? You remember at school, what were the lines on the music paper? Every good boy deserves fruit. And there's a metaphor for life, girls. <laughs> I've been really good. See, and the thing is, I thought it looked like the kangaroos were playing a tune on the fence. I said, Struth, look at that. The kangaroos are playing a tune on the fence. Raced inside, got the Kino pencil on the coaster, came back out, wrote the tune down. The kangaroos were playing on the fence, took it back into town with and recorded it, and won the 1993 Golden Guitar for Best Instrumental in the Australian Country Music Awards. I won the next year's as well, two in a row for the old fiddler. Oh, country music history. I beat Tommy Emmanuel the second year. You know, he came backstage later and threw his guitar down, carries on like a big bitch when he loses. <laughs> One, two, three. My favourite bit, the piano accordion. The squeeze box, we call it. That's right, it's the squeeze box. <laughs> Unfortunately, no, it's a squeeze box. I think should do something about that.